Uh, so I'm Tom Nanziola, and um, my background is in percussion and composition. And I started listening to pop at a very young age and moved on to classical and all other kinds of music, but pop was always in the background. It's in a band called Tall Stories. We signed to Epic. We were we had a couple of good years all over the radio, toured a good part of the world. And um, after that, I went on to be a freelance musician. I did a ton of recording sessions and a bunch of jingles. Started to do Broadway uh, about 10 years ago, and I've worked on over 20 uh, Broadway shows. I have sort of an eclectic background, so some of the areas that I've had uh, fortune to work in is orchestration in particular. I did some work with Garrison Keillor in the New York Philharmonic where I orchestrated some pieces for him once he did his monologue at a concert. Um, I have a group which plays live music to film called the BQB Project and uh, we've played a lot around New York City and the East Coast including uh, the World Financial Center under uh, John Schaefer is a program in the winter just like uh, silent film live music and uh, basically some commissions here and there along the way but it's just uh, just various areas of performance and composition well for me i've always been into pop rock music i mean my you know from when i was a kid it was always the beatles and the stones and then led zeppelin and uh and on and on and on motown etc etc uh 80s new wave stuff that's always been my thing. So to me, this particular CD, especially, was really natural. Yeah, I mean, actually, similar background in that uh, the Beatles were probably my earliest influence. I mean, at like the age of four years old. Um, and then we share some uh, rock pop groups in common, but then there are things that I kind of gravitated towards which are a little different, like the police. Um, I was into Yes in high school the uh, classic pop uh, in addition to the rock stuff so our interests in pop kind of complement each other because we're able to bring all those various um, favorites of ours into the picture and then do whatever we need to do what we did was we knew we needed some contemporary music uh, for this project so we got together we made a list of our favorite new bands and, and set out to Kind of put in, you know, immerse ourselves in each one of these artists. Uh, kind of, I would say, crack the code, get get an idea of how they wrote and and uh, what they were writing about. In other words, so we we tried to write the song for each one of these artists that should have been on their record that wasn't that they never wrote in their style. And one of the interesting things that happens on this project is because of our background and understanding of pop. Uh, we can look at an artist and discover what their influences are, what's been informing their sound, um, which enables us to, I think, bring a little more depth into what we're doing because we're not just um, studying their sound, but what made their sound happen before them. So we bring, I think, a whole other level of uh, depth to the music. And, uh, and we also try to really figure out, if we're honest with ourselves, once we're working on a project, is this the sound of that band? Is that the kind of vibe they put out? And if not, you know, we'll start again and we'll remove something. So we're really trying to pay attention to what makes that band tick. 